Let us not forget that after the First World War, it was the British and the French who sliced up the Middle East and North Africa with no respect or empathy for the indigenous people of those lands. Now this, now this is what we are talking about today. What we are talking about today is not a problem in Britain. It is a problem with the world. It is a problem of imperialism. It is a problem of a system which places importance and places priority on big business ahead of human life. Colonization is not finished. Flags have just been replaced by huge, big corporations. This is what we're dealing with. We have certain parts of the media, not all of the media, certain parts of the media which act with um, very right-wing interests. So it's within their interest to demonize and dehumanize Muslim people. When you dehumanize a person, you can justify any crime you carry out upon them because they are not human and they are not the same as you. So you'll notice what they'll point out is physical differences. This is what they will try and make you feel passionately about. But really, it's not the physical difference, it's not the ideology, and it's not the faith that they have a problem with. They'll try and point out to you the physical differences, but they couldn't care less. They couldn't care less how a nun dresses. They couldn't care less how a Jewish man dresses. So why is it Muslim? 